So we are packed up and ready to go for a little, uh, just a short overnighter canoe trip. We're heading up to sort of the west side of Tomogamy. I'm going to be starting in at um, Madagascar, no, Madagamasi Lake. Um, tried to pack as light as possible, so we just have the one big pack and the one food barrel. And way down there is Bridgie doing the last minute compost and whatever run, getting ready to go. So we're off to the races. Rod, what did we just do? Well, um, I was just kind of going through my mind. Did we got everything? I'm just kind of thinking, and, oh, fishing rods, forgot them. I was supposed to grab them before we left. So where are we going? We're going back to the garage to grab the two fishing rods that are waiting there for us. Aw. How many minutes have we wasted? Um, about 20, probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's about right. Yeah. Oh, well. It's good yeah. to be retired. Yeah. And over the hill. Yes. And forgetful. Well, wait a minute. All right. So, there was food to pack, right? Yeah. Clothes. Yeah. Canoe equipment. Yeah. Camping equipment. Yeah. Canoes. Yeah. Um paddles and stuff yeah fishing gear yeah which part were you responsible for I brought my toothbrush there you go <laughs> we've pulled over folks we've got technical difficulties Rod's checking the canoe and he's reported that we are missing a foamy so what does one do when they're missing a foamy I'm not sure it's kind of boring looking out so do you want to see my face see how pretty I am do I look like a camping girl? Um, I'm going to leave my eyeglasses behind because I don't want to lose them. Um, but I will. This, these sunglasses are good for our prescription. So that helps. So what's the report, Rodney Bill? One of the little foam pads yeah. somehow fell off. So now what? It's got one foam pad. So what's, what's that going to do? It's okay. I just have to keep an eye on it. Okay. We'll do that. Hey. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. What? Did you grab the gloves? I got one pair of gloves. I didn't see a second pair. There was a neoprene and a, a no finger one. Oh no, I didn't grab you. I didn't grab the no finger ones. Where are they? I didn't grab them, so they'd be in the baby. Together. Where, where did you get those ones from? Baby seat. Oh my gosh, I better be right because he's gonna lose it. You know, Rod. He's just like such a temper tantrum kind of guy. Anywho, here I am on, oh, my canoe spinning more than I want it to spin, but oh well. Um, we have arrived. Oh, please don't hit. Um, and is beautiful. Ouch. I just got a sliver. Life is good. Um, and it took me a little while to get in the canoe. And I told Rod it would take, I would get better as the summer goes on because I'm not as nimble as I'd like to be. I told uh, Thea last week, Grandmama is not nimble. And she said, please be nimble. So um, here we are. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'm going to even take my coat off because I'm dressed way too warm. But we're waiting for Rod, and hopefully he found his gloves, because, like I said, you know him. Let's see. Did you find him? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you grumpy? No. Okay, you're not going to lose it? About what? Me putting the gloves in the back? No. Oh, whew. It's my lucky day. So we're now in the north arm of Madagamasi Lake. And just heading, we're starting to get into some of the white quartzite rock that's uh, exposed. And I think there's going to be a whole bunch more of it once we get into Wolf Lake and Sylvester Lake. Um, but this is just an island in um, Madagamasi. Cool spot. And we've had a bit of a tailwind all the way up, which is pretty nice. So it's been an easy paddle and it's absolutely beautiful day. Is it lunchtime? And we're just wondering about lunch, which we're going to do when we get to the portage. Well, what time is it? She's like a little child that you have to remind and tell her to be patient, but we'll get there. When's lunch? It, lunch will be as fast as you can paddle to the portage. <laughs> How is it? 
food. Want some cheese? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this thing though. No. Oops. We're having lunch. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm having lunch too. I'm talking to our people. I know. But I wanted you to include me in the conversation too. Yeah, so it's a little windy, eh? Starting to pick up now. Luckily, it's been a tailwind, so that's good. I'm just kind of a little shelter out of the wind here, have a little bite to eat, finish up the rest of the trip, get to the campsite. The and bugs, the I bugs. don't know if they're black flies, are out and they're not biting, but they're in the canoe only after me. <laughs> they're like in my face. I'm not impressed. No. And as we've been coming down the lake, it's kind of changed from this jack pine with white pine as well, and some groves of uh, white birch. But now it's starting to transition more into red pine. And I think once we get out of this lake, we'll see mostly all red pine for the most part. Of course. And it'll be cool. Mm -hmm. So let's finish our lunch. So we're almost at the end of Matic Massey. And uh, just going to portage. It's super shallow here. Lots of rocks, kind of just picking our way through. And uh, I think we'll take the portage around the. There's a bit of a rapids. I don't know what it looks like right now in high water. But I think we'll just portage around, make it as simple as possible. So this is the second portage coming up. And this whole area in here is called Paradise Lagoon. There's big waterfalls just up ahead. You can hear it a little bit in the background and in the summertime a lot of people come in here and hang out sort of in the uh, fast water and find a little rocky pool to hang out in. Um, really cool, the water is crystal clear, kind of a bluey green color. And this is our second portage of the day which will take us into Sylvester Lake. I hear something. Some lost soul on the portage. Whoa. Made it. Oh, nice. A good looking guy. Excuse me, sir. Good work. Do you need That's a date? pretty spectacular. I know. Do you need a date? Sure. Well? Wanna go on a canoe trip? Since you're already here? Alright. Alright. Rod says you're in charge of the camera. So here we are. This is where we land. Landed. And this is where we need to go. Follow me, I'll show you the way. These falls are unbelievable. They remind me a little bit of Duchesne when Duchesne Falls is really full. Maybe I'll run so that you can see it sooner. Look at c'est joli, n'est-ce pas? Regardez les chutes, les amis. Ooh, Divisin 2. Super cool. Stand by, I'm gonna show you some more in a second. Check ça. C'est jamais bien tight, tout le bois. Gosse. It's beautiful, huh? Oh, I came to lose my boyfriend there. Hey, John, I'll give you six. So, the portage that we're doing right now is called the toenail. And we think it's called that. Probably because you're hanging on with your toenail. It's kind of cliffy and a uh, little challenge on the, uh, keeping your footing. But we're going back to grab our second packs instead of doing it all in one load. And so we could enjoy the uh, falls as well. Now if I could just keep up with that dude up front. I just met him. He seems really nice, but he's not going to wait for me, that's for sure. So we just came through the Narrows from Sylvester to Wolf Lake. And uh, we're going to camp. There's a big high cliff on Wolf Lake and there's a campsite there, which is a really beautiful view of the lake. That's where we're headed. And you can kind of see it way off into the distance there. Pretty much straight ahead. So that's where we're heading over that way. 
So the wind has really picked up since we got off the lake this afternoon. It's really gusty right now. Absolutely beautiful day though. Um, perfect sun, just a nice temperature. Um, a little bit too breezy, but we had a tailwind. But I think tomorrow we might have a headwind on the way back. Anyways, uh, this is Wolf Lake, and this is probably one of the nicest campsites on the lake. Um, but it's a little ways, you got to walk a little ways from where you put the boat uh, in the water to where the campsite is. And here's some examples of some of these massive old growth red pines, which are just beautiful. So we'll walk up the trail and uh, show you where we're going. A little bit of a trail kind of leads up and uh, there's a bit of a rocky cliff that the uh, the fire pits right on and then the uh, tent locations kind of back into the uh, forest a little bit and uh, really really nice spot we're gonna get the uh, sunset right straight across the lake from us which is gonna be kind of cool and we never saw a single person all day long it was great so we have the place to ourselves Around the corner is the fire pit and a dead animal. Something died on the rocks. We're not sure what it is. Nice spot here. Get fire going soon. I'm keeping an eye on the fire. Good job. And this is the amazing view you have from this campsite. Pretty spectacular. And then... Back here is where the tent sites are. So we're back in the red pines here. Nice little spot for a tent. And then along this trail here, there's even A little thunder box in the bush. How luxurious do we have it here? Thunder box and then these beautiful trees all through here. It's just amazing. Big cliffs are sort of in behind here too. Cool spot. Really nice site. Ladies and gentlemen, it's dinner time. Rob bought a little steaks for dinner. Check it out. I know you're thinking. Wow, that's a lot of meat for two people, but fear nothing because we have our potatoes there and then we have a second steak. It's Fred Flintstone. We're having Brontosaurus Rex for dinner. Right, Rod? That is correct. Yummers. Cook little steakies. Bridgie worked hard today. She needs to eat you all up. Good job, Rod. Look at, do you see the little rope around the two inch slab of beef? You only get a rope when it's really, really big. Look at those babies cook. Can you hear it? That's a little snack for us. We earned all those calories. I'm sure that's about, I, I calculate, I think they're about 12 ounce steaks. Or the pionier and no big beans for us. No merci.
we just packed up our stuff and headed out. We're uh, just getting close to the end of Wolf Lake. Unfortunately, we have to be back fairly early for an appointment. So we're hoping that the wind doesn't pick up too much. But Bridgie did say that she's feeling extra powerful today and can navigate those winds. Is that right? That's right, because I'm never, ever, ever so high. <laughs> so bring it. Come on. 